Malaysian is a multiracial country. Citizen always put patriotism in first place in order to preserve the peace of the country. Nowadays, many younger generation have a very low patriotic spirit. This is common for those born after independence. An individual is considered patriotic when he or she has the characteristic of patriotism towards the country. Since patriotic awareness among younger generation is declining over time, movie has become one platform that can be used to spread the patriotic elements among Malaysians. In this presentation, we will discuss about Malaysian movie that have the spirit of patriotism which is Lieutenant Adnan, Sajah Hassan and lastly Pascal and how they represent the spirit of patriotism in their storyline. Lieutenant Adnan is a 2000 Malaysian war film directed by Aziz M. Osman and co-produced by both Grand Brilliant Sandi Amberhad, Paradigm Film Sandi Amberhad and the Malaysian Army. The film chronicled the action of the Adnan bin Saidi who had been involved as a lieutenant of the Malay Regiment fending against the invasion of the Japanese Army during the Second World War. Adnan was a courageous individual who was willing to give everything, including his life, for the people and nation. He believed that no matter what, as a patriotic citizen, one had to fight until the last drop of blood to defend the nation. The main casting in this movie include Hairi Osman as Lieutenant Adnan, Umi Aida as Safia, which is also Adnan's wife, Farid Amiro as Major Fujiwara, Faizal Hussein as Private Ayub, and also Rusdi Ramli as Private Malik. The spirit of patriotism exhibited in this movie is the value of courage. Malay soldiers bravely fought against the Japanese army until the last drop of blood despite their slightest number and many were killed. Despite running out of ammunition and without weapons, Lieutenant Adenine remained brave against the enemy in order to defend his beloved country. In addition, there is a value of responsibility. We must be responsible for carrying out the tasks entrusted. For example, Lieutenant Adenine, who was responsible, gave word of enthusiasm to his subordinate in the battlefield during the war in the Chandu. Besides that, in this film, there is also the value of sacrifice. This situation can be shown through the scene of Adenine forced to leave his wife, Safia, for the sake of nation. After finding out the Japanese had already begun to attack Malaya. Persistence is also among the value that can be near from the film. Due to the Adenine persistence while undergoing the training, he succeeded in his exam and was promoted higher in his career while in the Royal Malay Regiment. Lastly, we can also explore the value of this film in this movie. During the war in Bukit Chandu, Lieutenant Adenine cleverly detect a Japanese military treat disguised as Indian soldier, wearing turban while attacking the Malay soldier in Pasir Panjang. All the soldiers were killed and he received from the general. Mengganggu siaran ini, Angkatan Udara Jepun telah mengebom Pearl Harbor Kubu Amerika Syarikat di Lautan Teduh. Banyak kerusakan telah berlaku. Ini pasukan kapal-kapal terbang Jepun telah mengebom bandar Singapura. Inilah berita yang terakhir. Askar-askar Jepun telah mendarat di Kota Baru. We always see this teaser broadcast on television during the day of Independence, right? So now let's take a look another scene of this film. Pasukan asakar Melayu berkandalkan orang-orang baru lah. Ha? Itu tu. Oh, ini peluang baik. Aku masuk. Pak, 
Izinkanlah saya pergi bersama Haji menjadi askar, Pak. Hasan, Bapak lebih suka kau tinggal di sini untuk menolong Bapak. This scene shows that Sergeant Hasan has a strong spirit of patriotism where he secretly go to Port Dixon in order to join French soldiers. Even though Pak Lebay disapprove him to go. This is because during at that time, Malayan army has a short of soldiers. This scene shows that Hassan has high moral value and he is not easily discouraged. He managed to escape from Japanese prison. Hassan, hmm? I'll try and make it. You man, you'll be shocked for you got a yard. Is that the chance I have to take? Somebody must call for help. Please take care of Aziz for me and tell him that we made the game. I'll be back. Through this scene, we can see that Hassan has never give up finding a way in order for him to go out from Japanese prison. Even though at that time he was seriously injured. I got it. Damn it. Don't be afraid. You're among friends. Let me help you. Captain. Yes? You can count on me for whatever you need. Thank you. Since this area is quite close to my home. Oh, si kalang kampung maanya susah. Abuang suka ke leja jali kempitai. Saya punya nama Buang, Mister. Saya semua tahu pasal ini kampung, Mister. Aleng, oh, lu mesti tolong sama gua, oh. kasih lu satu surat. Oh. Lagi dua hari, lu mesti datang oh. ini tempat, ini jam. Oh. Gua ada dekat sini, ha? Oh. Ingat, jangan kasih tahu lain orang, ha? No record report. There's a large transmission center by the Sungai Duyung about here. The moment we're about here. And do you think you can find your way? Yes, sir, I know the way. You know the way, good. This scene, Hassan worked very hard with his platoon in order to expel Japanese army from Malaya. Hassan! Hassan! Hassan, the war's over. The war's over, sir? Thus, with his determination, Japanese army defeat and withdraw from Malaya. It's finished! The Japs surrender this morning! You mean... I mean the war's over! Happy Suda! It's finished! First, we need to know about Pascal the Movies. Pascal the Movies is a 2018 Malaysian military action film directed by Andrew Tay and produced by Asian Tropical Films and Golden Screen Cinema. Pascal was inspired by the elite Royal Malaysian Navy force named Pascal, which is Pasukan Has Laut. With a budget of RM10 million, Pascal the movie is the most expensive Malaysian film ever made in Malaysia. Next, cast in Pascal. 
First, Hyrule Azrin as a Lieutenant Commander Arman Rahman, a born leader, Arman has a qualifier of a true soldier. His late father on served under Pascal with Commander Maznan and subordinate of Admiral Kamarul Zaman. He is the best soldier in his unit. Next is Ama Alfian as a warrant officer, class 1, Muhammad Zarif bin Zafruddin, called as Jeff, a stronger muscular man who reap reward based on his skill. Jeff's erratic and aggressive behavior was portrayed early in base training and his jealous of Arman grew stronger. Third is Henley High as Lieutenant Joshua Teng Sing Wai, called as Kirang. Joshua is one of Arman's close friends and a Chinese Malaysian Pascal commando. He is married to Lily and had a son. He was unintentionally killed by Jeb during a confrontation in Angola. In this scene, we can see Pascal try to negotiate first to save all the Malaysian on the board, but rejected by the pirate. Pascal try to save all the hostages without any injury. We can see Pascal willing to sacrifice his life to save all the hostages from the pirate. is the sadness part where Joshua sacrificed himself to save Commando Arman and also local people from the bomb. This is the sacrifice of the Pascal where they have family but they still sacrifice himself for another people. This is the last part. They should have a rest after doing the task and meet their families, but they can save their holiday because they got a call that Malaysian people has been hostages. This is the patriotic spirit for the country and the Malaysian citizen to save all. As the conclusion, it is important to have the spirit of patriotism to love country so that the future generation of the country is a generation with full of vision. With Malaysia movie that have the spirit of patriotism, they can build generation with soul or patriotic. Little bit can imbue the spirit of patriotism among the people. Lastly, with Malaysia movies such as Lieutenant Adnan, Sajah Hassan and Pascal, it's a good movie to watch with family, friends and children.